Hello, it's Luke with Whipple Sound, and I'm going to do a review of the new JTS RU8012 dB dual receiver, the RU850 LTB body pack transmitter, and the RU850 LTH handheld transmitter. Now, this is a, a fairly new system in the United States. It's got 36 megahertz tuning bandwidth. Uh, this particular model is in 506 to 542 megahertz. Uh, which is completely legal after the um, changes the FCC's made with the 600 megahertz band. It does have 100 meters or 330 feet of range. Uh, it runs on AA batteries, as you can see here on the handheld transmitter. It does have uh, contacts down here as well for an optional charging dock if you'd prefer to use rechargeable. Uh, while I've got the cover off, you'll see that there's a way to lock out the handheld transmitter so that settings can't be adjusted. You'll also notice a, a discrete power button down here. If I thread this back on, you'll notice it's got uh, quite a few threads. You're not going to be losing uh, the cover like with some of the other uh, models in this price range. Uh, if you flip this switch down, it goes ahead and mutes it. And there's settings that we'll show you in the receiver in a minute. Uh, that'll actually power down if it's in this position for a while. Uh, but the performer, if they're flipping that, they can mute and unmute without powering it off to actually power it down. You have to hold this uh, button for a few seconds and then it, it goes ahead and powers off. And then to turn it back on, you just toggle the switch and it goes on. So fairly handy. It does come with a removable capsule. Now power it down. And it comes off here, and so you can interchange it uh, a little different than some of the higher uh, JTS models. And then to put it back on, you just line up the, the contacts and twist it on, and you're, and you're good to go. Here on the receiver, you'll notice that it has half-wave antennas. These are powered on a 12-volt bias, so you can remote mount antennas or use other antenna types if you'd prefer. Uh, many of the other systems uh, in this price range and frankly a little above use quarter wave antennas and some of them even fixed in place and not removable. On the front of the unit uh, you'll see there's two receivers, one here on the left hand and one on the right hand uh, where you've got RF and audio metering as well as showing your group, your channel, your frequency and uh, when your transmitters are turned on, battery strength. If we flip to the back, you'll see that we've got two XLR3 balanced outputs. Uh, you can switch the output to be full line level or put a 20 dB pad on it if you need to. There's also a output on the back for uh, quarter inch unbalanced that you can use uh, and mono sum uh, both channels into one output. Uh, once again, this is Luke with Whipple Sound. We've talked to you briefly through the RU8012DB, the RU850LTB body pack transmitter, and the RU850LTH handheld transmitter. And uh, if you're in the market for wireless equipment, be sure to give us a call and uh, let us earn your business. Thanks. Hello, it's Luke with Whipple Sound. I'm going to run you through detailed settings on the JTS RU8012DB receiver. It's a dual receiver. You'll see here on the left side how there is the left hand receiver and the right hand receiver here on the right side. Um, setup for both of the channels is going to be the same. Over here on the right, we've got the power on off. We've also got a little lock button that will allow you to lock the settings. Uh, and you just hold that down uh, to go ahead and do the lock. Over here on the left hand side you'll see the ultrasonic uh, transducer. This sends the ultrasonic signal to the transmitters uh, to synchronize settings. We'll go through that um, in a second. So first off, uh, without being in setup mode, these up and down arrows uh, simply change the output volume. And if you're using uh, the setting on the back where you're, you're summing the outputs as a mixer, uh, with these on the individual channels, you can go through and, 
and adjust the, the relative output. Uh, but generally, I would uh, say use your uh, XLR outputs and control uh, that mix on your, your soundboard. But for a DJ or someone that may only have one input on a controller, uh, go ahead and sum them, and that's how you'd adjust the volume. So to go into the settings menu, uh, you come and you hold down the set button for a couple of seconds. And you'll see down here it says setup and it's flashing RX. That means we're going to be working on the receiver. Uh, the first thing, it shows uh, your frequency. We can choose a group. And you can go up or down uh, to choose that group and the set button to select it. And then we go into the channel. Uh, same thing here. Uh, I've got scan mo mode turned on. And so if I hit the up arrow on channel, it'll just grab the next available channel. Um, so you'll notice I was on channel one before, and it'll skip over channel one because that one's actively transmitting. So I'll go ahead and, and store that. Now if I hold the set button again, I'll go back into the setup menu and select receiver again, and I'll skip past the group and the channel. Here it's got frequency. In this uh, mode, I can manually set the frequency, either in a major or if I push it again in a minor step. And in here, uh, this is the mode where I can turn the scan function on or off. Right here, I've got it on. If I were to turn it off and hit set, uh, then when in the channel selection screen, it would let me select any of the 14 channels for each of the groups. But on this one, where I do want it to be, uh, to have the scan function on, I'll just leave that on. And I uh, talk too much there, so I'll get back to that part of the setting. So I've got scan on, and here's the output attenuation. If it's on, then it puts a 20 dB pad on the output. If it's off, uh, then it sends it at 0 dB. And this next setting, I'll get back to that is SQ, that's the receiving sensitivity. And on that one, uh, zero is, is default, negative five is the maximum sensitivity, uh, plus 10 is the minimum. And go ahead and cancel out of that. Now on the transmitter, hold down the set button for a couple of seconds. Right now it's flashing RX, hit the arrow, so it goes to transmitter, hit the set button. Here, this is the output attenuation for the transmitter. We currently have it off. Uh, you've also got a gain. That's the microphone sensitivity between zero and, and 15, uh, or negative 15 to 15 dB. This right here is the automatic mic off timer under mute. Right now I've got it set to 10 minutes, but you could put it up to 30 or down to one minute. And that's how long uh, the transmitter will stay on when it's placed in mute before it just powers down. And then uh, going back into that, going over here. Sorry, I'm still in receiver mode, so I'll go back into, into transmitter mode and just cancel out of that. I'm going to show you how to change the RF power on the transmitter. And on the transmitter, uh, it defaults to low power mode, which is a 10 milliwatt. You can also change it to high. I would caution you to use low unless you need to have high. Uh, if you're in high mode and you're too close to the receive antennas, you will get a bit of noise uh, because you're going to be overpowering the, uh, the receiver. But if you do need uh, to have a little more signal strength, maybe you're a little further away, or maybe you're uh, in a particularly crowded RF environment, that is a, a useful feature. And then the, the last thing I was going to show you, but I'll need to exit out of this, because uh, once again, creature of habit, I've uh, clicked uh, the receiver settings. So the last setting on the transmitter is this uh, Remo set configuration. It defaults to be frequency only, which only synchronizes the group and the channel. I like to have it to, to synchronize all uh, for this reason. 
when you you come to scan uh, with the transmitter you could go down and and set all of these transmitter functions through a similar menu structure you know it's got its lockout and everything uh, but I would much rather just set it here on the receiver and then uh, send the data across over the Remo set configuration. So this is the Remo set U. It's an ultrasonic signal. And so it comes out of this transducer and into this receiver. So you'll want to make sure that that's visible. And when you line up the receiver with the transducer, uh, you simply push uh, that button and then it syncs and then you can go ahead and and use uh, your transmitter this is a little different than the 2.4 gigahertz uh, setup that are on some of the higher end units like the r4 or the uf20 uh, but still quite reliable and uh, easy to use once again this is Luke with uh, Whipple Sound going through some detailed settings on the RU8012DB unit from JTS uh, with the associated transmitters and uh, feel free to reach out to us if while using the unit you have any questions, concerns or not quite sure uh, what you're doing. Thanks.